वेलकाम माइ डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू एंड शुभ विजया टू अल माई फ्रेंड्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स रिसेंटलि उल एनजय भेरि माच इन दुर्गा पुजो नाउ उर एगेन रिटार्निंग टू दाडी क्लस टकिंग उथथ फिजिक्स उथथ मी दैर इज पुष्परंजन सरकार यर फिजिक्स टीचार टूडे लेसन उर टकिंग अबाउट थार्माल एक्सपेन्शन अफ सलिड्स टूडे टपिक्स इज थार्माल एक्सपेन्शन we all know that when a solid material is heated then it is increased its length is increased but only the length is not increased it is increased in three way one is along length wise another is surface area wise and obviously volume wise so when a solid particle or solid substances is heated it is increased by length wise what is called linear expansion when it is its surface area increased by heating it is called superficial expansion superficial f i c i a l s u p e r f i c i l superficial expansion of solids and the last is volume expansion when the volume of or it is also called cubical expansion so in liquid there are three types three types of expansion occurred but in gas or liquid only one type of expansion occurred because the liquid has do not any particular shape and size they only occupied volume so there is only volume expansion so if we draw the diagram then if this is a rod of length l this is a rod its initial length is l when it is heated by some temperature by some heat then it length is increased by delta l then the coefficient of linear expansion is written as alpha equal to alpha is equal to given by change in length that is delta l divided by initial length multiplied by change in temperature that is alpha is given by del l by l into delta t this is the coefficient of linear expansion when a solid is heated and its s is the initial surface area and after heating if the surface area is increased and the new surface area is s plus delta s that is increased in surface area is delta s then coefficient of superficial expansion beta is written as del s by s into delta t and the third is volume expansion when a particle or a cube suppose this type of cube is drawn and when 
after heating is volume is expand in similar way if the volume is expand in the similar way it heated then del v is the volume expansion then coefficient of cubical or volume expansion is written as gamma is equal to change in volume by initial volume into change in temperature this is the expression of linear superficial and volume or cubical expansion now we go for it how it can be derived how we can get this formula so at first we start with linear expansion alpha we start with linear expansion <coughs> if a rod or any solid material is increased length by delta l after heating by any amount of heat then is change in length that is delta s is directly proportional to the then delta l is directly proportional to delta t and delta l is directly proportional to initial length l therefore if we add two equation then we can get delta l is proportional to l delta t we know when a proportionality constant is uh, removed then a constant is occurred with equal sign therefore we can get delta l is equal to alpha l delta t this is proportionality but this is alpha the sign is same nearly same equal to this is alpha therefore alpha that is linear coefficient of linear expansion is given by which which that is delta l by l delta t delta l by l into delta t so what is the coefficient of linear expansion therefore coefficient of linear expansion alpha is equal to change in length divided by initial length into change in temperature change in length by initial length multiplied by change in temperature here change in temperature is taken in kelvin scale because the change in temperature in kelvin is kelvin scale is independent of the material of any substance it does not depend the on the material it is it is free or independent so we can take the temperature in always kelvin scale not in centigrade or fahrenheit so similarly therefore if we return alpha equal to delta l if we return as the delta l equal to l dash minus l divided by l into delta t but l dash is temperature l dash is the uh, final length at increased temperature if temperature is t1 then the length is l and if temperature is t2 the length is l dash where t2 is obviously t1 so l dash equal to we can write this is therefore l dash minus l is equal to alpha l delta t change in length is equal to linear expansion into initial length in temp change in temperature therefore l dash is equal to l plus alpha l delta t is equal to if we common l 
then we can get 1 plus alpha delta t L dash equal to L into 1 plus alpha delta t. This is the mathematical expression of the final length after hitting. L dash equal to L first bracket 1 plus alpha into delta t. So, in similar way, we can also write the other variant or other expansion, coefficient expansion. Therefore, superficial coefficient of superficial expansion beta is equal to, we can get it at S dash minus S divided by S into delta T. Therefore, from this we can get S dash is equal to S 1 plus beta delta T. And cubical expansion gamma equal to V dash minus V by V into delta T is equal to, from this we can get final volume after hitting V dash is equal to initial volume 1 plus gamma delta T. So, this three equation is very important to do any numericals with this expansion of solids. I hope you easily understand this and sometimes it is uh, questions that prove that the unit of alpha is independent of the length of the material. You can easily understand from this that is here L dash minus L is the unit of length. L is also unit of length and multiply by unit of temperature. So, this can be cancelled out. So, 1 by unit of temperature. So, the unit of alpha, beta, gamma is same that is in CGS it is equal to degree centigrade inverse and in SI or MK system it is Kelvin inverse. It only depend on the unit of temperature, not on the length of the material or substance. Now, what is the cause of linear expansion? What is the cause of expansion? Cause. What is the cause? Why linear expansion, superficial expansion or volume expansion occur? Do you know the answer? Please tell me in my comment box in a single word, a single sentence. Every particle, every substance, every material consist of many number of atoms, many number of atoms or molecule. When it is in normal temperature, so or when it is unheated condition, in normal condition, the molecule are separated at equilibrium distances by the force of attraction, by the force of attraction. But when heated outside, when we get heat H from the outside, it is vibrate with larger amplitude in all possible directions, in direction vibrate. So, the intermolecular force becomes weak and the intermolecular distance increases, this, this here the distance is low. But the here is intermolecular distance if we said is A and if this is say A1 intermolecular distance before heating and intermolecular distance after heating is A2, then A2 is greater than A1. We know when the intermolecular or interatomic space is larger, weak, it, it gives the weak attractional force. So, when the force is weak, the solid becomes expanded. So, this is the main cause of expansion in solids. Now,
in doing problems if only alpha is given or if only gamma is given but we require the value of alpha in that particular problem or beta in that particular problem but only the value of gamma is given now how can we determine the value of alpha or gamma okay so for this we have to derive a relation between alpha beta and gamma so now we go for the relation between alpha beta and gamma tale <coughs> relation between alpha beta and gamma suppose this is a sheet of solid and its <coughs> initial surface is s after heating it is increased in surface and its increased surface is s dash and this is a sheet of a square that is all the length is same l l0 if we take it l0 then all the length is same l0 suppose this is at 0 degree centigrade suppose and after heating the length is l of t lt lt after heating the length is also same the, the sheet is also be square not it is in rectangular so this is also lt and lt l of t now we can know that the area at 0 degree centigrade s0 is equal to l0 square square of side a square of any side gives the surface area of of a square shaped sheet at t degree centigrade the surface area is st becomes a square of lt square lt is the new length now what is lt final length lt is equal is equal to l0 1 plus L t equal to L zero one plus alpha delta t. We can know it from the relation L dash equal to L one plus alpha delta t. I can write it earlier. So much more. So L t equal to L zero one plus alpha delta t. Then what happens? L t equal to L zero one plus alpha delta t. Now square it because it is L t square. what can i get l0 square 1 plus 2 a here one is equal to a and alpha delta t equal to b expand it in a plus b whole square form therefore a square that is 1 square is 1 2 into 1 a into b means alpha delta t the whole sign and b square that is alpha delta t square but alpha the value of alpha is very small for solid it is of the order of 10 to the power minus 5 minus 6 so if we square it the value is in the order of 10 to the power minus 12 so the value is very very small so the square of alpha is negligible so we only write it in as l0 square 1 plus 2 alpha delta t this term alpha square t delta t square term is negligible so we can return as st is equal to l0 square 1 plus twice alpha delta t now what is l0 square s0 that is s0 1 plus 2 alpha delta t this is equation 1 by definition we can write the initial the final surface area is equal to s0 into 1 plus beta delta t 
by definition we can know this is we get from this mathematical equation and this is we get from the definition now we can equate equation 1 and 2 what can we get we can get s0 is equal 1 1 equal delta d delta d equal but 2 alpha is equal to beta that is we can write is beta is equal to 2 alpha beta is equal to 2 alpha this is the relation between coefficient of linear expansion and coefficient of superficial expansion write down in your exercise copy and pause the video file needed to understand again if you do not understand it you can write me in my comment box I can explain it later so I can again explain it for you in this way in this way we can also proved the value of alpha and gamma for gamma if the initial value v0 and after increase the initial volume v0 is equal to l0 cube l0 is the side of a cube here not the sheet but cube because volume means three dimensional which all the sides is l0 and the temperature after increasing temperature the final volume v is equal to which is lt cube what is lt l0 1 plus alpha delta t the whole expansion is cube it is expanded in a plus b cube a plus b cube is you know all that is l0 cube a cube that is plus 3 a square b means the whole term plus 3 a b square plus b cube that is alpha delta t and we say earlier that alpha is very small of the order of 10 to the power 5 or 10 to the power 6 so the cube means of the order of 10 to the power 18 and the square is 10 to the power 12 so very very small so these two term the last two term is equal to 0 or negligible then we can get vt is equal to l0 cube means v0 1 plus 3 alpha delta t this is equation 1 and again we know from definition vt is equal to v0 1 plus gamma delta t from this equation we can get gamma is equal to 3 therefore alpha is to beta is to gamma is equal to what is alpha beta equal to 2 alpha gamma equal to 3 alpha that is 1 is to 2 is to 3 or again in a familiar way it is written as alpha equal to beta by 2 is equal to gamma by 3 this is the two main equation of expansion in solids. I hope you understand the full mathematical expansion and the derivation of relation between alpha, beta, gamma. So, <coughs> gamma varies and also the cubical expansion, cubical, exp cubical linear of cubical coefficient that is gamma is it varies like this that is coefficient of linear expansion gamma is inversely proportional to 1 by t it can be proved gamma is equal to 1 by t if we draw a graph for material copper material if we take temperature along this and gamma along this that is gamma is order of 10 to the power minus 5 degree centigrade inverse and temperature this is 0 this is 250k this is 500k we can take it as copper for copper material and the value of gamma is along y axis then at first with increase of temperature 
the coefficient of gamma, the, sorry, coefficient of cubical expansion that is gamma increases, 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 increases. But beyond 500 temperature, it becomes constant. It becomes constant. So, at first it increases with temperature, but after 5 deg 500 K, it becomes constant, that is decreases, its value decreases, decreases. This also be can prove gamma equal to 1 by T. And this is obviously equal to 1 by T for ideal gas, not for real gas. That is the gas obey the ideal gas equation, PB equal to RT equation. For this, it can be proved gamma equal to 1 by so, I hope today's topic is very interesting for you, you can gain something and next day we can come out with another topic that is the expansion of liquid and some numericals related to linear expansion and liquid expansion of liquid. Thank you.